Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to Robin's Beauty Over 50. Today is Thursday, and I would normally have my Throwback Palette Thursday up, but I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a tag today called um, All About Eyes, and Vicki from Miss Vicki contacted me and asked me if I would like to do uh, this tag, and she also contacted a bunch of other ladies that are going to be joining in um, with us doing this tag. And so, without further ado, I'm going to start answering questions about my eyeballs. So, here we go. I want to make sure I'm looking down so I get them right. I want to make sure I get this right. Let me make sure that this is going to, this is going to focus on me. There we go. That's better. Because I've got sunshine coming in. It's kind of hard to keep it the way that I want it. Okay. What eye cream or serum do I use? Um... I get a lot of questions about this. I use um, the creams that I use. I use two of them. And I use the May Love Eye Enhancer in the morning. And I have not found anything better than these two creams. They are wonderful. This is more of a gel consistency. It works beautifully underneath makeup. And I love it. It is on the pricey side. So, it, so is this one. But I switched using... Um, I didn't have this for a while, and I was using the Lancome uh, Definicils, I think it was, and it just did not work as well as this product. So, and this is the Rodan and Fields Redefine Multifunction Eye Cream. Wonderful product for the night. It has a lot of moisturization in it. It is a true cream, and it hydrates. <clears throat> when I wake up in the morning, my eyes, there are no lines underneath my eyes. Till I get up and start moving <laughs> then there aren't lines there but I will say that that um, this cream right here has been one of the best creams that I have ever used it is expensive but um, I've been using eye creams so for probably a good 40 years yeah ever since I was about 15 years old and it has made a huge difference in the way my eyes look so yes this one at night and the May Love in the morning underneath makeup, and they are a wonderful combo. I also use, I don't have it in here, but I also use Rodan and Fields Lash Boost. Um, I started using that again, and it's starting to work again. Sometimes lash um, serums, they will stop working, and then you have to give your lashes a break. And if you start back with them, they will pick up where they left off and it will um, fill in and make them longer again. So you have to give them a chance and a break. But I do like the Lash Boost um, pretty much better than any other serum I've ever used. And that is expensive. There are some that are not as expensive that will work, but not for the volume that I like for my lashes to be. So I do use a serum. Okay, number two, favorite under eye concealer. Okay, I use two. I use the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Eraser and the Brightener. I use that one first. I go in under my eyes and down around my mouth, and then I blend that out. And then I, I've been really enjoying this Maybelline Superstay. It is different than anything I've ever used, and I love it. It has a little wand applicator. Um, it's just a beautiful <clears throat> concealer that blends out seamlessly and works well um, with the powder that I use on top of it. So yes, the, these two are the combo that I use most. This is in the brightener, and this one, I'm not sure what color this is. It's one of the lightest ones because as you guys know I like a really light under eye so these two are my favorite concealers favorite eyebrow product okay I have been using the elf um, instant brow lift pencil I use that the very first thing I use is this to shape it shape the eyebrows out before I go in with the L'Oreal um, stylus plumper which I use this in brown, in the brown, and this one is in a dark brown. <clears throat> if I use anything lighter than that, my eyebrows, they don't show up, and this is what the tip of that looks like. I also like the L'Oreal, um, I can't remember what it's called, uh, but I like the one that's the, the small tip, like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, I like that one. 
Um, I did use the Anastasia Brow Wiz for a long time, and then I, I decided I'm not going to spend $20 on a, on a, a pencil. So I went to this, and I also went to the L'Oreal. I don't have a L'Oreal right here right now. And then I go in after I've done all of my eye makeup, and I go in with the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. This is a clear gel. It looks, it looks brown because it's got some of the um, product that I use underneath it. And I just brush them out, and then I use my spoolie to brush the lash, the um, eyebrows up. So those are my lash, my um, brow products. All right, favorite eyeshadow primer. I do not have one. I don't use eyeshadow primer. I tried to use a primer. That's been about a year ago, and they just they don't work for me. So I. Or I just haven't found the right one. The one that I used made my eye um, my eyeshadow skip, and I I can't do that. That just that was driving me insane. So I don't use um, an eyeshadow primer. Favorite eyeshadow palette. All right, now I didn't look through my palettes before I'm doing this, so <laughs> let me just look right now to see which one that I like the best. I love the the just peachy uh, mattes. I think this is a beautiful palette, but I do like some shine and some um, glitz in my eye look. I would have to say the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills is my favorite palette. It's got everything that I need. It has um, a pink look. It has um, a peachy brown look to it, and it does have some shimmer in it to go in the inner corner. I've used all of Tempera, this color right here. I've used all of that. That was the, the color that I go in first. I've used all of that, so I've gone to a single on that one. But yes, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette, and that's the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. All right. Favorite eye makeup remover would have to be... This is the one that I come back to time and time again. I have used um, the little Sephora with the oil in it. After you shake it up, it's got the oil in it. It's too much. It's too oily for me. So I love using this micellar, the Garnier micellar uh, cleansing water. I also use this to take the first layer of makeup off of my face after I come home from work. Um, and it does pretty good before I go in with another product with my, um, uh, what do you call that thing that I use on my face? You wouldn't know because you don't know. Um, I can't think of it, but the thing that, that rolls around your face, I use that with a, a cleansing balm. So I like taking this, taking my eyeshadow and the first layer of makeup off with the Garnier. It's really, really good. Favorite mascara. All right. I don't have one of my mascaras because I refuse to buy it. It's just too expensive. And that is the Hourglass um, Caution Extreme Mascara. It is it is fantastic. It really, really is. It's it's better than the one I'm going to show you. But I have been using the Essence False the Princess Essence Princess False Lash Effect. That is a mouthful. And um, I love this. This comes really close to the hourglass. It has this kind of same kind of wand. Um, I like a brush for a wand. And um, I switched to this because I use so much mascara. I like a really dark um, uh, lash look. So I switched because this is $4.99. And the hourglass is... I think it's $29.99, but it is beautiful. I, you know, I did a, a look, um, I did a video last week. I put it up the second time, and you do get a gorgeous um, eyelash look with that. But this is a very close second, so I love that. I love this. This is the Essence Princess False Lash Effect in the green. <clears throat> Favorite eyeliner. I don't use eyeliners. I only use um, the eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I'm not good with liner, so I kind of like just um, just don't do that at all with my, it's a little fleck. 
I don't do uh, liners at all, really. I have some, but I just don't use them because I can get the same effect with a with a powder um, with a powder look. Favorite eyeshadow singles. All right, now when it comes to singles, hang on just a second. I'm gonna find. I got another one over here. Hmm, where it went. But I like the Lancome uh, color design singles. Extremely pigmented. This is Arabian Nights. This is a black. And it doesn't look that pigmented on my hand. But if you put this, you know, on the outer or underneath, this is a fantastic shadow. The, um, the formula, everything is, is great about that about those shadows. I also like the L'Oreal singles and you can see I have like really <laughs> I've really gone to town on this one and I've got another one in backup but I'm I'm not going to open it until I'm finished with this and I'm not quite finished with that. So the L'Oreal singles are great and the Lancome um, singles are fantastic. So those would have to be my favorite singles. All right that was number nine. Did they? Let's see there's no primer but I have to, I'm going to add that one. The primer that I use on my lashes, where'd it go? No. Oh. And I talked about this ad nauseum on my channel, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base, and it is a beautiful primer. Primes my eyelashes perfectly, makes them full and long, and yes, I, I love this combination with the uh, Essence. So, um, the last question is favorite sunglasses. All right, I've, I've got quite a few sunglasses, but I'm, a, um, I'm an aviator girl. I like aviators, um, and these are by uh, Way. Is that how you say it? I think it's Way. Um, and that is what these look like. I'll put them on. So yes, I am a, definitely an aviator girl. I like a bigger aviator because my, my face is kind of, I don't know, small. And I like something that's going to cover up um, my face. <laughs> but yeah, these are, these are wonderful. Um, they make me look younger than I am, so that's always a plus. Um, so yes, I like, I like those sunglasses. All right, so... I'm going to be telling you who's doing this, this collab, and I'll put a picture of everybody all around me in the thumbnail so you will get a good look at who they are. Um, Vicki with Miss Vicki is the one that contacted me to, to do this All About Eyes collab. Check her out. Her um, YouTube channel is MZ Vicki, so it's easy to find. Um, Linda at Josephine's Daughter is also doing it. Um, sweet lady, you will love her. Go check her out. Karen Lemer, I started following her, geez, probably about two and a half years ago. She has a lot of, um, she has a lot of designer bag videos and clothes videos. I really like watching her. Wendy at My Life Wendy, she was one of the first ladies that, um, contacted me when I decided to do my YouTube channel. And I love following her. She she does um, natural beauty. She does that's not what the word I wanted to use, but she uses um, clean beauty products. And she's she's just a joy to watch. I enjoy watching her quite a bit. Susie at Susie QB. She's new to me, and I have watched her before. She does what's called Sunday uh, back porch sitting. I think it's what it's called on Sundays love love those videos she will go into um her life and and she will talk about things it's it's kind of a vlog but it's it's a video <clears throat> that you can watch and she'll tell you um funny stories and she's just i really like her and then kim at tennessee kim she um i've been watching her for about eight months now probably about eight months and she does a lot of singing videos with her dad and she does a lot of vlogging. Um, she has a beautiful home, and I really enjoy watching her. So check these ladies out, um, and I'm glad that you tuned in today for the All About Eyes tag. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you, so click that little subscribe button down below. 
If you are, thank you so much for supporting me, and I will be back here on Monday with another video. You guys have a wonderful weekend.